I love the whole thing of beans growing up a teepee of sticks. Um, and to me, a little, a little garden, there's always room somewhere to build a little stand of beans. I grow the old fashioned runners, the proper ones with the bright scarlet flowers. But what I really like doing is growing the beans that you can't buy very easily in the shops. So I grow these beautiful little purple ones and bolotti beans, the ones that are speckled like, like a bird's egg. And I never do very much with them. I just chop the stem end off. I leave the little, that little pointy bit because I actually think it's, it's very tender and really lovely to eat. And I just stick them into boiling water or steam them until they're tender. And I'm quite fussy about how long I cook them for because there is this idea that green beans should be undercooked. But if you do that, you don't really get the true bean flavor. So I cook them until they're ever so slightly bendy. And that's when their, fa their flavor is fullest and richest. And then I take them out and drain them and just toss them either in a little bit of melted butter or some olive oil or a little bit of chopped shallot. I don't do very much to them. But occasionally I take a soft cheese, something like brie or taleggio, cut it into little bits. And then the minute the beans come out of the water while they're still hot, I just toss them with the cheese and then the cheese starts to melt and it almost makes its own sauce. But I really never do very much to them. They're kind of very simple things with a gentle flavor. And I kind of feel the less I do to them, the better.